expect him to play E4. That's his main move, always has been. And he's been one of the few who's put Magnus under pressure quite consistently. Cast press the clock. Do they even shake hands? Yes, they shook hands when they when he came. Jadoop, yeah, and, and E5. E5, knight C6. There comes the bishop. It's, it's martial time. No more messing around. Let's play some good openings. Here we are. Chessable.com slash young, where I leak all of Magnus' martial secrets in my lifetime repertoire. Alright. And 8d3. Pavi's top been fooling around with his d3 bishop d2, which has become a big thing everywhere. Black has a bunch of options. But yeah, this h6 followed by rook e8, bishop f8, bishop e6 is a plan Magnus likes everywhere. And he also goes for it here, not getting involved with any craziness with bishop g4. Just very classical. And now either knight e7, knight g6, or bishop to e6. Rook b8 important because now you can go knight e7 without the rook hanging. Magnus, of course, must have had a look at some of these things in the past. Well, now it almost uh, feels like a deja vu. It's, it's the Dubai line, but with the tempi up for black. Yeah. And constantly likes his plan, and somehow he makes it work against every line, no matter what you play. Yeah, he goes h6, rook e8, bishop e8, bishop e6. It can never be too bad. But if somebody else tries it, if you're not into all the details here and how to hold these positions, it can get very, very tricky. But he seems. Yeah. He just means business, he plays his main opening, knows exactly what to do, and equalizes. Yeah, black goes d5. I mean, it's uh, hard to imagine black having any problems here. Yeah. Martial masterclass by the world champion. Was funny against Hikaru, no one. Hikaru tested him in some of the 8c3 d5s, and they would just both mix up move orders like crazy in you know, all these old theoretical lines. But not today. He takes, takes queen e4. Yes. Yeah. And, and look at the clock. Uh, Magnus is as usual. I mean, this is how we know Magnus in Blitz, and that's why I was so shocked of what we have seen from Magnus in the first three games in the Blitz section because th that, that wasn't him. Here he also sticks to patterns he knows extremely well, and then of course he doesn't have to think much. Now, even you could imagine where the whites to be a little careful on some c3 b4 maybe. Yeah, also f6, king f7, yeah, you just make sure that the e5 pawn is protected. Yeah, f6 played, you're right. Yeah, king f7, then bishop d6, knight at with knight e6, I mean, everything comes so smoothly and the knight on f3 is misplaced. Yeah. It's not serious, but it looks like if anybody could be better here, it's black. Yeah, the looks on c6 and p8 are wonderful, yeah, because black is ready to break the structure with b5, b4 any moment. There we go. He takes, we'll go bishop b4, I guess. No, no, he keeps the bishops. Yeah, bishop d6 is more of a fighting move. Fabi goes knight d2, so some knight f1, knight d3 is very much in the air. Or rook a4, knight c4, that would be another nice way of stabilizing things with white. <laughs> Looks like white stabilized, I'm not sure about this bishop d6 business. But okay, game continues. Exactly, Here knight, knight. is White is also coming with knight f1. Is it ever time to still play bishop b4? Still bishop is anchoring it. Yeah, he does now. Exactly, it's an important moment. Some pressure. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a believer in uh, Fabi's choice. I, I think it was clever to trade one pair of looks, but still this, this rook is very strong. Knight c4, then we go rook. Okay, e2 maybe? Or? Well, or maybe just rook a2 and yeah. then we try to target the e4 pawn. Yeah. Switch 4 there's knight c5. No, it's still, they're still playing. Yeah, and then king fc, rook takes f2, knight dc checks. Some kind of force like this are also... Also there. Wow, well, not easy. Might actually be... Be tough now, rook d1, knight c 5 have knight c5 as well. Also, it's taking a moment here to make up his mind, goes knight c5. After king f3, what does he want? c2, yeah. 
Då blir också ett ord i guld. Det är important på honom. How to defend this? Vi ser evolution bar. Ja, evolution bar says that white can somehow protect, but... Rook to two, yeah. Okay, well, rook to four. Okay, four. And then knight b2 or what? Blind to hint at trapping them. He gets the pawn. And he goes for some activity. But hang on, rook a2. This is still weak, yeah. Wow. That's making it look easy as a controlling the clock here. Fabi will have to be extremely precise to survive. Looks like he is though, also showing what a tremendous player is. And even uh, Knight takes c3, Knight f5, yeah? Now yes. Switch to agility at the right moment. This oh, is the, this the key. Very well defended by Caruana. Knight f5. Hmm. Well, then you take and look at 5 king g6. Wow, what a motive. Okay, crazy. Okay, knight f2, knight f5 is on the board. Looks like white is active enough now. We'll gobble up pawns by himself. And the black king is so passive. Can't see Magnus winning this. Tremendous defense by Karana so far. h5, important move. Saving the corners and stopping king g4. Still there is some intrigue and the players are getting low on the clock. We have seen with little time on the clock anything can happen if there are some unbalances. You see knight g5, exactly. D6. Rana keeps playing well, but he's down to 6 seconds. The questions can still be asked. And will be asked. C2 plate, 9596. Is this a draw? Hang on. Ah, yeah, it's just forcing the issue because King E7 you can't do. So you gotta go here. The rook ending should be a draw, rook C3. But still, not, not over yet. Oh, what is this? Rook C8, he doesn't take. He's trying to keep the knight trapped. G4, no? Oh, King E3 mistake, Rook H8 now. And Fami did collapse on the last steps and Magnus Carlsen wins this game. Wow, and G4, Rook H8, G5 would have been the saving trick. Yeah, I thought Knight F5, but then maybe Black like, chances G5 is nice. G5 is nice and then Knight F7, King F5, Rook F6. I ah, know, Rook F6 loses. Okay, then we have to go for one of the positions with with the three pawns. Something like this.